Okay, today we're on an old Cimarron Ranch tract, which uh, has about 34 acres in it. And uh, there's a gas well right here in the center. Uh, this is a, the road that, you can see it. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we came up, this is north, the top of the map here, is, this is north. And uh, we came on uh, from this direction, came up to this little uh, well pad site that they didn't put a well on. And uh, we're about right here on the boundary. Had some really large boulders and rocks, and we're going to take a walk up through here. And then uh, eventually come back, we're going to come back down on the, the Wet Canyon Road and then come into the, the main access road to the property here. And uh, take a look at that. I wanted to show you these boulders here and the, with the trees. You got a lot of, this is a north facing slope on this side. You got the two west West Spanish Peak and East Spanish Peak through the trees there, but you got um, blue spruce and probably some aspens and stuff spotted down in the bottom. Got a lot of nice conifers on this property. That's the view out east. And there's uh, that's Fisher's Peak that sits over Trinidad, Colorado, uh, along I-25. I-25 goes north and south up through the Front Range. Um, we're uh, approximately 25 to uh, probably about 35 minutes to town from here um, and uh, you got some really neat really neat boulders and rocks this is going to be on the I would say on the eastern boundary line right at it so like I say most of the property is to the west here this direction so see something. Now there's the West Spanish Peak and the East Spanish Peak and the bulk of the property is down here in the valley down below our feet down here and uh, we're gonna hike up to the top of the ridge there so you can get a look at what it looks like back to the south. Again there's Fisher's Peak over Trinidad, Colorado. You're only about your short short drive to New Mexico from Trinidad. I can try to give you a feel of what the actual size of the mountains look like when you're standing here. It's about that big. It's actually a little bigger than that. Taking pictures and doing video doesn't really capture what you're seeing when you're here in person. Again, that's the East Spanish Peak. So again, the, the, the two peaks are general are north in this uh, county. It's a good reference, landmark or reference. And then the Sangre de Cristo Mountains are over to the west. We may see some of those when we get up on top. So we're coming around and we're about due east right here. And this boundary line goes about right through, right straight through here, that direction for a little ways. You can see it on the aerial and topo map on the site here. So we're gonna take off and go to these next rocks and things up top here. Okay, now we're gonna start up the slope here. Uh, again, there, we got a little better view already of the. There's the West Spanish Peak once again. That's about that's how big it looks. It's actually a little bit bigger in person standing here. Um, beautiful views. Now we're gonna head uh, kind of south west into the property. Got some more of these big rock formations. They're gonna be scattered all over this property. Of, and uh, here's some thick, thick timber, dark timber, all through in here with little trails and stuff. But we're gonna head to the top. Okay, we've come up the hill, and uh, there's the top right there. And we'll go up there and we'll look to the south. But you can see to the west, uh, it's be northwest, west, northwest. You got the Sangre de Cristo Mountains popping up through there. And again, they're they're bigger than that. You're standing here in person. Okay, we made it up on top. You got some views of the south. See more valleys. This is looking. Oh, about as crow flies about 
seven, eight miles that direction, the horizon, and that's all New Mexico that direction. Lots of tall pines, and you've got uh, really good views again of the Spanish peaks up here. Got a lot of animals in thickly wooded areas like this too. There's the west, and you're, you can catch the snow caps of the Sangre de Cristos to the west right there. Okay, we're just walking along that ridge still. These mountains are incredible up here. You get a little more of the Sangre range through these trees. Looks like it might start going downhill. You can see those peaks through there or not. Those tree tops. Again, this is looking south. All right, go out here a little further. At some point, we're gonna hit the southern boundary line. You walk along, you see in that area where this open space is, this south facing slope, trees aren't as dense, less moisture held in the soil on this side. Okay, we've come to the western boundary line right, right close to it. This is gonna be, over in here is gonna be off the property and we just came, uh, oh, maybe about 30 yards that direction is the is the uh, western boundary line, but it, uh, it sure is pretty up here. Take So you can come up here and take a hike and see the views. These are the Sangre de Cristo range. And again, when you're standing here, they look like that, but actually bigger. And then you have the West Spanish Peak that you can see up here too. Hang on there. Come back around. Look to the south. Okay, um, like I just said, well, I, th I think I just said we, uh, we crossed off the western boundary to walk out onto these, these flat rock areas where you can see the Sangre de Cristos and stuff. And now we're on the right, what I believe is right on the boundary line. And we're going to be looking at the southwest corner across the, it's going to be right over across this little saddle. You can see the saddle right here. It drops off into a steep valley this way, which would be, you know, coming down this direction. And then uh, the, the, you can see that this part here is a saddle. And then it starts dropping back off into the valley that's on the property in the middle right there. So you can also see um, at this corner some white shiny areas on the aerial. Uh, so that corner is going to be down, down in there over there. And then uh, this little mound, I don't know if it's coming in clear. This little mound, little circle right here. That's this little high point. So we're basically standing right on the southern boundary line of the property, very close to the southwest corner, and we're going to head towards the eastern, southeastern corner. Okay, we're walking that southern boundary line, heading east, going to the southeast corner, and uh, there's old fence line going all along the boundary, I believe. I come up over this hill, I'll fall on my face. Old wire. This was a large, very large ranch at one time. It was all chopped up into quarter quarters. This one's a 34 acre tract. This is in a correction. Oh, square, quarter quarter, quarter section, correction section. It's a nice petrified wood. Throw a fire up on this whole fence. It should be, by the way, I got the topo laid out. It should be just off the top of this hill on the other side here, the pen. That might be, Let's see if we can find it. Okay, so there's some along here, and yep, I found that pen. So, we're gonna be, we're walking this southern boundary line right here, and uh, we've come to this southeast corner pin. Okay, 
So, here's the pin. This was done in the 70s, I believe, this ranch. So, it's, it has rebar for pins in the ground. Um, so, all right, we're done on the top portion here. And we're going to head down here in the bottom, uh, come back down to the main road, and then drive up the actual access road to this property right into here and take a look at that. Oh, I, you probably couldn't see anything I was doing there, could you? Anyway, we're going to drive it in the middle of the valley uh, next. Okay, we're turning off of Wet Canyon Road, coming into uh, this Cimarron Ranch, old Cimarron Ranch tract of 34 acres. Uh, we're going to head back up in here in the, this uh, private road, dead ends into the uh, this property. So it's the last property on it, on the road. Oh, oh got turned. Okay. Got some water here. Yeah. So you take Wet Canyon Road from Weston, Colorado, and you come up about oh, 10 miles, uh, 11 miles, somewhere in there between 10 and 11 miles, and uh, to get to this uh, that turn off. about, uh, oh, my guess is about a mile and a half, two miles up in here to dead end of the property. Okay, so you take a left at this little Y. Go past uh, a couple people's little setups here. And basically the bowl back up in here <coughs> is gonna be the property itself. reach the eastern boundary of the property and uh, are coming on to it driving west through this little canyon you can see there's some, there's big rocks all the way up here on top you can walk up there it's only this one little bench and then you got some nice benching up up here so if you wanted to uh, make a little road going up through there you could put a, a place right up on that little bench you got some grass down in here and this to this this is south this direction so this is that north facing slope. We're on top of the hill up there. You get right up on that bench up there uh, to put a little cabin or something if you want to get out of this valley bottom up on that hill. We're going to come up to the gas well pad up here. And we're going to walk to this little part of the canyon is all up on the property too, up back in that direction. You could do something up in there. We're gonna come up this gas well pad and park, and then go up to that saddle and see if we can find that southwestern corner pin. So you got a six cylinder little motor run there. It runs off the, um, Runs off the gas coming out of the ground, and you got a guy that comes, a, a pumper, um, and a, a guy in a truck, pickup truck, comes in here a couple, couple, couple times a month, a few times a month to uh, check the running of the well. So we're going to be hiking this direction, keep going west, and go see if we can find that southwestern corner. Okay, we've just come walking up the hill from, oh, we're parked on the gas well site down below there, and we're heading southwest to the property. There's a saddle on this back side and I was pointing out from the top. 
Got to point out from the top and we're gonna go that saddle and see if we can see what we see up there. It's not very much further. There's the top over there, top of the ridge. Okay, we're still heading up that hill. There's a you know, neat rock. Got a bunch of neat boulders around on this property still. This saddle right here is towards the southwestern corner of the property. It's on it still. That southwestern corner is on the other side. We're going to start catching the Spanish peaks again through the trees. They're coming up. Okay, so we've come to the top. And, uh, this is the western end of the song grace through the trees there. You can see more back this way. But here's that saddle. Keep repeating. And the southwestern corner pin is going to be somewhere over in here. for that old fence again. So that fence runs, uh, I believe, right along the boundary. If you find that old fence, it's gonna make it a lot easier to find the pen. So we came from the gas well location from uh, this direction, and uh, there's the rocks and things we were on before, went around the top of the property, the southern portion, and followed that fence line. So now this is that saddle I keep talking about. It's just a low place between hills, you know, where things can cross over. And there's some, it's a nice elk or deer rub that's right up in there. I don't know if you can see it. And we've found the fence again. So the southern boundary line. Yep, there, there's the pen. So there's the, that's going to be a quarter quarter pen there with that silver cap. Uh, that's set up by the USGS. And you got, uh, the fence line southern boundary follows exactly the way that we went on the top portion of the property. So there's your, it's upside down, turn this way. You can see that. That's the southwestern quarter pin. Okay, give you a shot. We're still standing at the pins here. You got the USGS pin here and you got the property boundary pin right there. And, uh, As again, the Sangres look, they're, they're, they're actually bigger than what you see there when I'm zoomed in like that. They're pretty views. Lots of big boulders. So we're on the property right now. Basically walk along the western boundary, heading north. Um, we're gonna head back to the valley. Okay, we've come there. off that southwest corner and we're coming back down in the valley. And uh, towards the western end of this valley through the dark timber. Probably can make you a nice catch pond with the amount of drainage that comes down here. Pretty in here. So that uh, the northwest corner is going to be oh, way up in the trees in the hill up up that direction. So the, the property line, the northern boundary property line is way up there for good ways. Nice little area back in here. It's quiet. You could extend the road right up through the valley here. Come maybe back up in here. Okay, we've just 
kept walking down the, the canyon. I don't know if you can see it in the light. And basically where that orange is up there is where we came down off the hill from the southwestern corner. There's some little plateaus right up here, top of these rock uh, formations, benches. If you wanted to make a little make a little road to access that little flat bench area up there, you could get out of the valley bottom down here, be over the top of it, overlooking it. And that uh, the gas well location's right back over here to the right. Here's the, we're picking up the road again here. that direction we parked the truck and this is the main road coming up through the middle of the property here okay there's the valley we just came down walking on and we're heading back out of the property now heading east back to Wet Canyon Road Show you a little bit of the southern. Lots of places you go up in there too. Kind of that nice little grass valley down here. Bunch of boulders and rocks and everything. And right, right about where this culvert's at with that orange flag is going to, we're just crossed off, off of the eastern boundary. We're off of the property. <laughs> 